My name's Calista and this is my sister Gabby and we are home in California for the holidays. So we decided to try all of the Starbucks holiday drinks. I feel like we should get started. Yeah, I'm super excited. I've actually never... <laughs> That's the garbage truck going by. You just spit on my face. <laughs> Sorry. I've actually never tried a lot of the holiday drinks because they have a lot of sugar, but they do. I'm excited. There's so much sugar okay, in here. Which one is that? This is the peppermint mocha frappuccino. And we got all of them with soy milk. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really melty, but I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it's hot in the car. Mmm. It's really good. It just it's tastes really... like chocolate and peppermint. I've heard the peppermint mocha is the best. Whoa. You like it? Tastes like peppermint bark in drink form. Mmm. Andy's in here. Chonky. <laughs> Can you see him? Hey, buddy. You should have got him. There we go. A cappuccino. Do they do that? I think. Hi, Chunk Chunk. He's, he's probably confused about why he's in here. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea. So, I liked the peppermint mocha for a Pacino. It was a little melted, so we didn't get the full texture of a nice frappuccino, but. Mm. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, sorry. Cute. That one's yummy. I want another sip. Mm hmm. This one is the chestnut praline one. Mm, I like that one. Oh! Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> and that wasn't expecting the stick to be so long. Mmm. Mm, I've actually good. had that one iced, but I think warm or hot is so much better. Like the flavors. Isn't that really good? Yeah. I think this Whoa. one, this is the one I've gotten in the past. Like some of these I haven't tried in like years, some I've never tried, but this one, whenever it's the holidays, I always get this at Starbucks. That's good. I mm -hmm. love a good nutty flavor. Oh, that's good. I miss the gingerbread latte though. That one was my favorite. Oh, Starbucks, why'd you have to let that one go? You can lie down. Okay. Oh, toasted white chocolate mocha. Ooh. I've actually never tried this one. I've never had a white mocha before. I've never had any mochas. I don't know. Why? It's like, it wasn't what I was expecting. Hmm. It's good. It's not as, it definitely isn't as mocha. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's the white chocolate. As the mocha. It's like, it doesn't taste like the mocha at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a white chocolate mocha, I was... Isn't this supposed to be peppermint? No. No, I don't think so. It's good. Sugary. Before we do the next one. Oh, what are you... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about the holidays? Being home with the family. I love the month of December so much. I think mm -hmm. the vibes are just so nice. And it just always feels so nostalgic. I just love being home and having like all the lights decorated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love winter. What about you? I feel like I don't like the season of winter because I don't like cold weather. <laughs> but I do like the holidays because it's like nice for at least a few weeks to feel like cozy and like loved and warm. So. I really like it. I also, like, I love wrapping presents. I feel like, I don't even like, I love wrapping presents more than I like receiving presents. Like you love buying presents for people? No, just like wrapping all of the presents. I hate wrapping presents. But my family <laughs> knows that, so like, I feel like I wrap every single present under the tree except for the ones that are for me. Mm -hmm. Like dad has already given me one for you that I need to wrap, one for mom really? that I need to wrap. Yeah, I just hide them. because I, I wrapped all my presents. You should show them. Really? Because like when I wrap, I just like don't have the patience to make it all nice because I'm like, what's, what's the point? I don't know. It's so satisfying. And then picking out like ribbons and bows. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And I love Christmas music. Yeah. And I love... I feel like the holidays is just like everything warm and sugary. <laughs> yes, oh my god, yesterday I literally ate six Christmas cookies. Amazing, oh my gosh. So the sugar intake is not gonna be good. 
it's okay. That's what the holidays are for. But I love dressing warm in like sweats and sweaters. I don't know why you don't. It's so comfy. Yeah. I like, I don't mind it. Like this is, since I've been home, this is the first time I've worn leggings and a sweater in about like half a year, which is weird. That's crazy. Like I'm not used to wearing pants. <laughs> But I don't like wearing pants, so it's nice every once in a while. And I do like winter fashion and like being able to layer. This is the eggnog latte. Ooh, I was wondering. Do you like this. eggnog? Never had eggnog. Me either. I don't really know what it is. But I feel like I would like eggnog. Did you know eggnog is called milk punch? Where? Like that's like another name for eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, cool. I was making a holiday trivia kahoot for my um, advisory students and I learned some fun facts. Milk punch definitely sounds less appealing. Yeah, it does. Even though eggnog already kind of sounds unappealing. Like when I was younger, I was like, why would you drink nog from an egg? What does it taste like? But I feel like when there's holiday eggnog drinks, it's just like cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah. Those kind of flavors. Mm hmm ginger if yeah. you're having like gingerbread or like ginger snap it was good oh there is that like one flavor i can't that's I can't. probably the eggnog i've never ha actually drinking like straight eggnog before me neither so just egg yeah actually i don't know how it's made but it's probably reason it's called eggnog <laughs> there's like a flavor i can't really describe or distinguish it doesn't taste like an egg mm-hmm -mm. What is it though? I'm gonna look up eggnog later and we'll be like, oh, that makes sense. I literally can't tell. Okay. It's pretty good though. Yeah, I, I didn't hate it. I feel like, oh, should we try this cold brew? Oh, yes. I love cold brew because it's just like cheaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of the cheaper Starbucks drinks. How much did all this cost? This was a lot. It was almost, it was like $30 for all these drinks. Oh my god, the sun is so just we'll like enjoy it. half on me and I'm really hot. Move that. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. That's better. <laughs> so we have the Irish cream cold brew. I don't know if this is like one of their holiday drinks, but it came out recently. It only comes out like once a year. There's this one. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I'm worried I'm just gonna get a mouthful of cocoa powder. You won't. I enjoyed that. What does it taste like? Kinda, I'm not getting a lot of the hints of like the Irish part, but it does taste just like cold brew with sweet cream. To me, this just tastes like the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Yeah, I like that one. The vanilla sweet cream cold brew is like my favorite. Also, I don't know if you can even see it because of the glare. Yeah, you definitely cannot see that. Oh, now you can. But my sister got me this. It says happy holidays. <laughs> it, from uh, Wholesome Culture. She got it for me last year for Christmas. And I love it. Do you oh, like it? I really like it. I feel like cold brews, are, it just feels so much lighter They're compared refreshing. to what we're other drinking. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Pretty good. Mm-hmm. A caramel brulee. I wonder why this is a holiday drink. I don't think he knows how to sit down. Really to lay down. <laughs> Andy does get car sick, so I think he's worried we're actually gonna drive the car and he'll be very upset. You never actually talk about it, you just say, hmm. <laughs> I know. I like it. That one doesn't give me like holiday vibes mm, though, but it's this really one's good. so sweet. Mm -hmm. I think that one is the sweetest one besides the peppermint mocha. This one's so good. It doesn't taste like coffee at all. Mm -mm. Like I feel like there's no coffee in here, but it's so good. Like I, I already know there's probably so much sugar. It's good though. It's really good. It's just really sweet, caramelly, mm -hmm. warm, toasty. Yeah, I like it. I feel like <laughs> unless you hate sugar, you're not gonna hate any of these drinks, you know? The peppermint mocha is very strong though. Like you don't get Starbucks lattes for the coffee. You get it because you want the coziness and the sugar and the warmth that comes with it. Oh, this is just the normal peppermint mocha. I never get hot coffee though, or hot lattes. Which one's that? Peppermint mocha. 
It's good. Oh, just like the, yeah, the hot one. It's less sweet than the, the Frappuccino. I would say the peppermint mocha is like the only one where people may not like it if you don't like peppermint. Yeah, some people really hate peppermint. peppermint mm -hmm. <gasps> Yay, he relaxed. Yeah, so that was, that was a lot of hot coffee. I can't mm -hmm. hold something cold now. What's your favorite? I feel like I love the chestnut praline one. Like if they don't, if Starbucks never gets their gingerbread latte back, I think the chestnut praline is gonna be my favorite forever. Yeah, I would say the chestnut praline is the one mm. that has the least sugar. Really? Or it's like the one with the least calories at least. I will say the eggnog one surprised me because when I was reading reviews, a lot of people did not like the eggnog one at all. Really? A lot of people were just like, or a lot of like articles were like, oh, it just seems kind of pointless, like not very good, wouldn't order it. But I I feel like I probably wouldn't order it, but I would drink, I'm gonna drink the rest of it, you know? Yeah, I don't think it deserves all the hate. I would say the Irish cream cold brew is like nothing special. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it just tastes like any cold brew. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's different about it. It literally just tastes like the vanilla sweet cream one. Yeah, there's like a little something different, but it's not like obvious enough where I could be like, oh yes, it's that spice or it's that syrup that makes it Irish. It might just be the cocoa powder on top. I really like this. <laughs> successful yay so that was fun i enjoyed it i, I actually really enjoyed that yeah tasting all of them. just tasting all of them yeah. i feel like i've always wanted to try all of them mm -hmm. and now that you're a youtuber i have an excuse i know right even if no one else watches it gives you an excuse to just do random things and try different things you guys should try it and yeah you you <laughs> should try it too yeah if you've ever wanted to if filming or making videos interests you why not i thoroughly enjoyed this experience and now we have lots of coffee for the rest of the week <laughs> which one was your favorite <clears throat> I don't think you answered that I really can't choose let me look at them all again favorite was the chestnut praline and then I think the this one is just so good. mocha and then least favorites were the toasted white chocolate mocha because I don't see the point of that and then <laughs> probably the eggnog I mean I'm sorry to all my eggnog lovers out there. Maybe if I liked eggnog more. It wasn't bad though. Like, I just wouldn't order it They again. were all really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like chestnut praline is my favorite, but also the caramel brulee tasted like the best, but I wouldn't be able to drink a whole one because it's, so, it's sweet. so sweet. It doesn't even taste like there's any coffee in it. Mm -hmm. um, also, I like the toasted white mocha. You did? Because like the flavors weren't too crazy, so I feel like you could enjoy like a cup of it. That's true. Yeah, like the peppermint mocha, um, I feel like I get tired of the peppermint. Mm hmm It's like a lot of flavor in that one. Yeah. So chestnut praline and toasted white mocha. Amazing. Yay! Okay, well thank you for watching this video where we just tried all of Starbucks holiday drinks. I hope you have a happy and safe holiday season, whatever you celebrate, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Oh gosh. See, Jane. Why stare